This story and more is brought to you by Book Club Audio, the Australian audiobook marketplace. Find more amazing stories at bookclubaudio.com. Buddy gets a haircut. Okay, buddy boy, it's haircut day, Daddy said from across the kitchen bench. No, no, Buddy dropped his Vegemite toast and clapped both hands over his head. I don't want a haircut, he said in a wobbly voice. Mummy joined in. You can hardly see because of your long fringe. I guess so, said Buddy, taking his hands away. Now, I have a conference call, so Daddy will take you for a haircut, Mummy said. She kissed the top of Buddy's head, then went into her office and closed the door. Finish your breakfast and then we'll go, said Daddy. Buddy had a think while he chewed his toast and drank his juice. He remembered going to a hair salon with Mummy, who had silvery things put on her hair by a very pretty lady. Another pretty lady gave Buddy some books to look at and a red lolly on a stick. Buddy dropped the lolly on the floor. So then he had a hairy red lolly on a stick. Buddy remembered. Last time, it was all very boring and very noisy in the salon. Everyone talked loudly because all the pretty ladies had their hair dryers going at full blast. Some kid was getting a haircut and making a big fuss. Daddy came back into the kitchen with his car keys in his hand. Do I have to get a haircut? Buddy asked. Yeah, mate. Let's go, said Daddy. Buddy didn't like the shopping centre because there were so many people walking around and pushing trolleys. It wasn't so scary when Daddy held Buddy's hand and gave him a piggyback ride on the escalators. To Buddy's surprise, he and Daddy walked past Mummy's hair salon and stopped outside a shop that had a big stripy pole out the front. Buddy stared at the pole and back at Daddy, who laughed, then said kindly, This is a barber's shop, Buddy. Daddy pushed the door open and stepped inside, holding Buddy's hand. Then they sat down to wait. There was music and talking and laughing, but it wasn't very loud. Men wearing black capes sat in shiny chairs in front of mirrors. The barbers moved around the chairs with scissors, combs and clippers, flashing very fast as the hair was cut and fell to the floor. I wouldn't want to drop a lolly on the floor in here, thought Buddy. When it was Buddy's turn, one of the barbers came over. Hey Steve, I brought you a new customer, said Daddy. This is Buddy. Steve the barber had a gold nose ring and a tiger tattoo on his arm that was way cool. Buddy liked sitting up high and looking in the mirror. He also liked the smiling dinosaurs on his plastic cape. Steve was very funny, pretending to sneak up on Buddy with a water sprayer and buzzing his arms with the hair clippers. Oh, that tickles, giggled Buddy. The haircut was finished. Steve smoothed some styling gel through Buddy's hair, stepped back and said, Oh, you are one cool dude, Buddy. Thank you, Steve, said Buddy, who felt all grown up with his new haircut. When Buddy got home, he raced inside to show Mummy his new haircut. Mummy's eyes were shiny and she said, Oh, Buddy, you aren't a baby anymore. I know, said Buddy. Can I get a tattoo? Mummy and Daddy laughed. Then Daddy took a package out of his pocket. This is from the barber shop, he said. Thanks, Daddy, said Buddy, and unwrapped a jar of hair gel that was way better than a hairy lolly on a stick. Later... Buddy was tucked into bed by Mummy and Daddy, who both kissed him goodnight. 
I am a very cool dude, murmured Buddy sleepily. Yes, you are, said Daddy. I think so too, said Mummy.